What's going on everybody? Today I want to take a minute and uh, break down the guitar part and what they do by the roots. It's performed by uh, the late great Chalmers Alfred Spanky. Uh, just another example of perfectly executed guitar part for the song. Beautiful. Um, there's uh, a lot of really great chords and techniques he, he uses. Super applicable to all sorts of kinds of music, especially R&B, neo soul type stuff. Um, but yeah, with uh, let's get right into it. The, the, the key of the tune is in C minor. Um, when you go to practice this with the record, you'll find it's a little out of tune. I imagine they cut it to tape or, or something and maybe sped it up or slowed it down, but it's kind of in between B and C. It's just like a little flat, but we'll be doing it in C. Um, so he pretty much starts off the tune with this, with this little lick. It's a, you know, C minor pentatonic, starts on G, right up the scale. C, D, E flat. And um, from there, he gets right into some chords, this beautiful drop two voicing. This is a C minor nine with an 11 on top. It kind of slides into it. That's a E flat, B flat, D, F on top. That D is the nine, F, 11, C minor nine with the 11. And he kind of slides into it. Does a little hammer on on the D there. And then from there, he kind of gets into a C minor pentatonic run, you know. He goes up. the whole thing and um, from there he does another really cool chordal movement to get from the C minor chord up to the F minor chord um, in a nice way so he starts on this C minor does like another pull off there second chord it's like this C minor and fourths it's C F B flat E flat it's a great pretty kind of R&B chord and he does another little pull off there something like that and then up to the F minor with the nine and then he lands back on this F minor seven here kind of like a F minor 7 chord, F, C, E flat, A flat, C, and does just a classic kind of uh, twinkly pull-off thing. This is on countless records, like all the way back from David T. Walker and through. So like definitely a, a popular thing to do is kind of like... And that's all with your pinky kind of hitting this, this B flat. It's all the color tones, so... Got the 11 there, the B flat, minor 7 up top, E flat, root, fifth, he kind of lands on. That's a good thing to practice. And then from there, he moves on to some double stops, some fourths, just another really cool kind of R&B technique. C minor pentatonic, he starts on something like that. And then so these these lower ones, it's all just fourths, like F and C, B flat and E flat, C and F, with some slide ins, though I think the way he plays is kind of like These top ones, F, B flat, G, C. Up top, he kind of goes. It's kind of the rhythm he plays. Again, these are all just kind of techniques and, and stuff that he's using that you'll be able to practice and put, you know, all over tunes. Um, it's more about the concept than 
than how exactly how he played it, you know. And uh, so yeah, the whole thing kind of slowed down in time, like. From there, he gets into the main guitar part um, over the choruses, which is, um, he kind of starts here, another great chord voicing. It's a, a drop two chord. It's got like a C minor nine in, in root position, um, drop two voicing. So the, the chord is that it starts on a C, G, B flat, D, that nine up top. And he kind of slides into the, the G and the B flat. Back to that chord from the intro here, your, the C minor nine with the 11 on top. He doesn't really hit the 11 here. It's really just about this, this major third here between the B flat and the D. There on the uh, 15th fret. And then he goes back to this, this, this chord that it started on. And then another drop two voicing. This is just... Regular C minor seven, B flat, E flat, G. That's like the whole thing for the for this over the C minor chord. And then he ends on this F minor nine, and the he kind of hammers on the nine there, going from the the F. So to play this chord, it's like your middle finger on F, the eighth fret, A flat, E flat. And then you kind of bar this sixth fret all the way so that you also get the root up there on the sixth fret, and then you can hammer on to the ninth. It's a pretty sound. So it's like. And then the next little part is he goes up here. The uh, ninth fret slides there, right, right from C to E flat. Back to that same chord, the C G again. This this C minor nine drop two, and then um, from there he just kind of goes, hits that that E flat there, that that flat seven over the C minor chord. So the, the rhythm's like, and then just hits a F minor seven, F, A flat, E flat. So the whole thing in time is like, uh, Lastly, over the verses, he just kind of does these double stops again. And then up top, so that's just B flat and E flat, C and F. And then up top, F, B flat, G, C. And just sort of alternates between that. Oh. And then he finally resolves it with this, uh, it's like D and F. Yeah, and that's, uh, that's how you play it. I hope uh, that was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions, drop it in the comments. And uh, make sure you like and subscribe. I'm gonna be trying to do a bunch of these guitar lessons here and hope you liked it and follow along. See you next time, thanks.